<laughs> Cassie, I'm so utterly... I wouldn't have dreamed of barging in if I knew the doctor had patients. And such important patients, Your Highness, Your Grace. Please excuse the intrusion. Oh, no, no, no intrusion at all, really. Uh, well, Edmund, you sure do get around. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I didn't know that you knew Dr. Weymouth so well. Oh, we go way back. I've known Harry and his lovely family for years. But enough. I refuse to interrupt any further. I'm sure you're in the middle of something very important. Well, actually, we, we were sort of. Uh, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Not at all. Well, it looks as if it's just going to be the two of us, Pookie, but we have so much to catch up on, shall we? Another time, Harry. Of course. Oh, rats. What is it? I have an important call to make. It's a matter of state, and I've quite forgotten to do it. Would you mind terribly if I met you in the car? Of course not. Take as much time as you need. Aren't you gracious? <laughs> okay, doctor, I cannot wait another second. <laughs> Am I pregnant or not? Well, the facts are that my tests indicate that you're... Yes? <laughs> not pregnant. For the moment. But that's impossible. I'm sorry. This doesn't make any sense. I am so sorry. But I was so sure. It's all right, darling. I'm sure. It's all right. Any sense? I am. I feel so pregnant. Are you sure there wasn't some mistake, or you you could have made an error yeah. somewhere? Yeah. No? Well, no test is perfect. I will continue with the blood work, of course. So there's a chance I may be pregnant? It's highly unlikely. For the moment. But that doesn't mean that you won't be in the very near future. It's established that there's no reason that you can't have as many children as you want. I had the measles and they thought that I might not Cassie, be. Cassie, fine, we know that. But I wanted this now. Richard. I just wanted so badly to give you a child. And I've gotten your hopes up and... I'll give you two a moment alone. Hey. Listen, I don't... I don't want you feeling any guilt here at all. Do you understand me? This is just a letdown. I understand how you feel. I was just as excited as you were. You know that. It's not over. You heard the doctor. We can still have children. You know, we can have all the children we want. It just doesn't make any sense, you know. I just feel pregnant and it feels right. It just feels so right. I, yeah, I know. Hey, why don't we, uh, why don't we take the royal yacht for a spin around the harbor? I can show you that private beach I've always been meaning to show you. It's kind of chilly out. You know, Tammy was mentioning that she wanted to go horseback riding. Why don't, why don't we go horseback riding? It's really late in the day for that. You know, hey, darling, I know. Why don't we just, you know, stay home? We can order a movie in, an American movie. And uh, you don't think that's a good idea either. I know you're trying to cheer me up. Well, you know, we're going to be fine. You know, the, uh, the sky hasn't fallen. I know, and I'm sorry that I'm overreacting. And I know we're going to have children someday. I just wanted today to be someday. It still could be. You heard the doctor, you know, all the tests are not in. Richard. He said it was highly unlikely, so that means I'm not pregnant. Yes. Excuse me, Your Highness. Telephone call. Oh, uh, take a message. Um, no, no, no. Take it. I'll be fine. Who is it? It's Dr. Weymouth. 
All right, all right. Um, thank you. Hello, Dr. Weymouth. I'm sorry to interrupt, but in light of what happened today, I would like to schedule another appointment. Well, by all means, I'll get Cassie and... No, sir. I meant with you. There's something we should discuss. Uh, I see. The sooner the better, if that's all right with you. Certainly. <laughs> 